Hey, what's up, everybody? So, uh, first off, I just want to hope everybody's doing well, especially your older family members from this virus situation. Today, I wanted to talk about avid effects and layers and how an effect on layer V2 affects V1, how you can collapse tracks, etc., uh, etc. Et so, here we go. So, for an example here, I have a clip on V1. I have a clip with an alpha channel made in After Effects on V2. And what I did was I put this effect, like it's called a left to right push. Uh, if you search left to right, you can find it in there. Now what happened here, I didn't render this, but it kind of made this interesting effect where it's doing both at the same time and it sees this is, this is what it's sort of sliding to. And it sort of did this, I think it actually looked pretty cool. Uh, my mistake, but I want to show you the difference of what happens when you collapse the two. So I have the same exact thing here. I'm just going to highlight them and I'm going to hit this button right here called collapse. If I hit control three and open my command palette, yeah, it's in the command palette under other is this button called collapse. Okay. So I turn command palette off. I have, I have this, so I have this here and I'm going to hit collapse. And so what happens here, Avid is basically turning this all into one layer. You can step in and see what was underneath that collapse track, right? The layer one and the layer three with the alpha channel. And now if I drag this same left to right clip there, you're going to get what in theory you wanted, the straight left to right push. As opposed to when it had had it up here with the different tracks, it did this. Okay? So something to think about how the collapsing tracks will make a difference on what you're doing here. Okay, so let's talk about this example right here. So what I did was I just put a 3D warp uh, clip and I made this one smaller and moved it to the right. Same thing with this one. I actually copied and pasted it and I just moved the position to the left. So the one on the right with this blue image is on the bottom. So one thing I could do, I'm making an add edit right here and I'm adding a, what I call a push in effect, right? I put something on V3. It's basically like an adjustment layer for any of you Premiere users. Every Avid layer is already an adjustment layer. Both image, everything, everything below this V3 is going to be affected by the adjustment layer above. So it's gonna move up and down, right? So let's go back to V2 and think about Imagine if I only wanted V2 to move, what's going to happen here? So it actually will stay with V1 and V2. If I only move this V2 up, starting it up here, the V2 will move and the V1 will not. Now, this is where it gets into like a hierarchy of order. So I'm going to not step in, but I'm going to hit segment mode. And I'm going to double click this. So what this is showing is, in a sense, is like Avid's like saying, here's your 3D warp with now at this point, which it starts at this box and then it grows really big. So one thing to think about is, and this is why I would never use picture in picture. It's just um, you, you don't have as much flexibility. But if you put another 3D warp underneath and now it's because it's underneath and it's behind that. I could make the image bigger in the box without affecting anything underneath. It's going to look here with the white. Let's see if it actually, if we see how it's happening here. Right. It is moving bigger inside the box. See how big it's getting, even though the box is staying the same. So that's this layer right here. Now, same thing. I can hit this red segment mode, double click it. And now I have another, I don't know, I'm, I'm basically going underneath. I'm stepping in. And I'm seeing another layer, which I can affect. And I want to show you something right here. If I put on a color effect, just really quickly, not to use color correction to get out of that mode, and I take out the saturation, right? Now this clip is black and white, but this clip is not black and white. Now let's see what happens with the hierarchy again. If I were to, I will alt click this on. And if I were to make this, in this way, black and white, you see everything is black and white, everything underneath.
So V1 now is black and white. So I just want to show you that difference one more time. I put the I alt drag the black and white clip onto here and everything underneath it went black and white or with this red arrow, it's easier this way. You can step in. Let me do the step in first. It's this button down here. And let's close all these. So I would have V2 selected and I could step in and step in and step in. But you see, it's not as good a visual representation as when you use segment mode. And you could see, all right, this 3D warp was the first one. This one is underneath it, moving it in bigger inside that box. And then I'm adding the black and white effect underneath, right? And only that clip turned black and white. So think about this hierarchy of order when you're collapsing tracks or stepping in and putting effects underneath other effects. Now, one thing that's really cool about Avid 2, say I had all these effects, I really liked the way it looked with this move and this black and white. I could even cut in another clip. There's another set of pictures. I would just have to go over here because I don't have enough room. I would actually drag v1 to it's called 3.1 that actually uh, you know avid's even saying like these are all layers underneath v2 and if i hit a mark it marking in i can actually even mark it in and out and i can cut it in and you can have cuts underneath it you can do whatever you want you can extend underneath it it really is like little tracks underneath um I don't know. Really short one. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody has enough beer for the apocalypse. You have the time. Now is, would be a good time to be at home and take the course. Avidbeer.com. 180 short videos. You will learn Avid completely in a week. So everybody, please stay safe. And I will see you in the next video.